Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about the force on a current carrying conductor. The force on a current carrying conductor. A current carrying wire in a magnetic field will experience a force on it. Reverse either the magnetic field or the current direction and the direction of the force will reverse. So finding the direction of the force. To find the direction that the wire will move we use Fleming's left hand rule. So for Fleming's left hand rule where you say your thumb is the force, your first finger is the magnetic field, and then your second finger is the current. So the first finger, the magnetic field goes from north to south, and with the second finger, it's going conventional current goes from positive to negative, and then your thumb is just showing you the direction that the wire will move in. Particles in a magnetic field we can also use the Fleming's left hand rule to predict the forces and the motion of particles in a magnetic field. So here I've got a beam of protons and these protons are going to go into a magnetic field that's going into the board, so into the screen now that you're looking at. And they're actually going to curve upwards because they're going to experience a force. And if you use Fleming's left hand rule, so the uh, the field is going into the board, so your first finger is going to be pointing inwards. and then the beam of protons, well that's following the conventional current going from left to right, so your your uh, middle finger or your second finger, well that's uh, going from uh, left to right, and therefore your thumb should be pointing upwards towards the screen, and as the beam of protons goes in, well it's going to experience a force that's going to cause a rotational movement, and then as soon as they are out of the beam of, pro uh, sorry, as soon as they're out of the magnetic field, they're going to carry on in a straight line. Okay guys, hope that's been useful. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye for now.